Hey guys, so today I've got to do some riddles. Yes, some riddles. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not very good at riddles, really. Um, yeah, I'm just really not good at them. But basically, riddles are basically like trick questions. You've got to think outside the box. Now, I don't know how this guy go, to be honest. Um, I've just got to go for it and see what happens. But I've got my mic down here. And I've got my laptop on my lap because I haven't got a desk and I changed my room a little bit. Um, so if you have not noticed, so I'm sitting in my bed. So yeah, I thought, hey ho, let's do some riddles. So um, I don't know why I did that. But <laughs> so yeah, so I got a video with lots of riddles. So should be fine. But um, yeah, will I get frustrated? Probably. Will I get any of these correct? Probably not. But um, yeah, play long at home as well. Um, yeah also there is a time limit for the like how long to answer these riddles but i think i gotta pause the video so i get extra more time so we see okay so let's go a woman invited her friend over for dinner okay for dessert she cut an apple in half okay. and offered her friend one half along with some whipped cream on the side okay she then ate her piece of the same apple the friend died from poisoning, but the host survived despite eating from the same apple. It, the whipped cream. How is that possible? Well, the whipped cream is poisonous because she had whipped cream and the other girl didn't. So the apple not poisonous, the whipped cream? It, it probably not, but I say the whipped cream. I say that really weirdly, but yeah, I think it's that. Will I get this correct? The poison was in the whipped cream. Yes! Oh my god, I am so smart. That's probably the only one I'll get correct. Um, oh my god, I'm happy, man. You see a bathtub filled with water. Yes. You have a spoon, a cup, and a bucket. Which will you... See, I hate sometimes... I know this is not numbers or maths or whatever, but the riddle is the most hard for me. It's like maths. <laughs> Even though not maths, but like confusing and like measuring and all whatever this is so we see what happens so what you choose to empty the bathtub to empty the bathtub you have 10 seconds to choose to empty the bucket no hold on see the, those are options i'll go with the bucket could get more in to empty it to tip it but can't you just use is it a trick question and just say the plug inside the bathtub Okay, I'm going to go with the bucket, but if it's a trick question, I'm going with the, the, the bathtub, socket, plug hole thing. I said that completely wrong. It got to be right. It's a trick question, it has to be. Obviously, choose to pull out the plug. See, I told you. See, that they give you the options. I'm like, okay, but it's a bathtub. Unplug the plug socket thing bathtub plug it i can't say it now but you know what i mean so see i've got these correct i did say bucket only because it i thought you have to choose one but i did thought about that so give me that one these are easy i thought this one be hard five plus five plus oh, five God, plus five equals 555 you have 10 oh i know one number is that make the equation correct p.s you can't cross the equal sign. Is it just five, five, five? Hold on. It says one, two, three, four, five. So three, five's there. Um, is it just five, 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 and then just pretend the other five not there? <laughs> I don't know. It's basically you make a number that number five, five, five. Just take away the other five. Five, four, five plus five plus five equals five hundred fifty-five. See, in maths ones, I'm not very good at. I bet you guys didn't get that. Come on. Like, it's the maths ones I'm not very good at. Like, Two stupid. people are standing near the river. Okay. Both of them want to get to the opposite bank. But the boat oh, can this. only hold oh, not one this. of them. And still, they both manage to get across the river. How? I thought you, I thought you had to... Um, I thought this question was about the boat and got across all of them over one, one at a time or something or whatever and the pig and the duck can't be together what you know what i mean that type of riddle but it's not so 
only one person could go on the boat, but two people. Okay, I need to listen to it again. I forgot. River. Both of them want to get to the opposite. So both bank, people want to go opposite. But the boat can only hold one of them. Okay. And still, they both manage to get across the river. How? Okay, so if one person do the boat thing, they get across the other side. But the other person is still on the other side and want to get that boat, but the boat is on the other side. Does the other guy swim and one person go on the boat? That's my answer. One guy swam across, it has to. I don't know. Let's see. They were on the opposite river banks. That is so, so stupid. That is so stupid. So one guy already on the other side anyway. That's just stupid. That upset me now. <laughs> A rich man, Mr. Thomas Green, okay. had been kidnapped and the detective assigned to his case found a note at the crime scene. Okay. It read, 1st of January, 4th of October, 5th of March, 3rd of June. The detective guessed that the kidnapper's name was hidden in the note. The suspects were Jack Green, the rich man's son and heir, okay. June Green, the man's wife, uh... and John Jacobson, Mr. Green's employee. The detective deduced the name of the kidnapper in no time. Can you do the same in 10 seconds? No, I've got to pause it. So June... What? So 1st of January, 4th of October, 5th of March, 3rd of June. What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I need to start again because I, I need... Okay. And Mr. Thomas Green so this guy had been kidnapped. Been kidnapped. And the detective assigned to his detective case found a note at the found crime, a note, scene. crime scene. It read, 1st of January, 4th of October, 5th of March, 3rd of June. The detective guessed that the kidnapper's name was hidden in the note. So the kidnapper's name is in the note. Okay. The suspects were Jack Green. The rich man's son and heir. So that's not even no. Green, it's June. The man's wife. It's and the wife. John Jacobson, Mr. Green's employee. The detective deduced the name of the kidnapper in no time. Can you do the same? Oh, in 10 is because I got very confused because the suspects the only name is in the note is June. So is it June? Seconds. It's June, right? It's June. She's the kidnapper, right? I presume it's in the note. First of January means the first letter of the word January, J. Fourth of October indicates the fourth letter of the word October, O. Oh the my March God! Stands for the fifth letter of the word March, H. Third of June is the third letter of the word June, N. So John Jacobson was the one that kidnapped. Me. Oh my God! So. See, I bet lots of people said June because it's in the name. That is just... That's clever. But frustrating. And annoying. Someone entered a dark room. Okay. They brushed against something. Some glass broke and someone died. What the hell? <laughs> what? The, how sad is that bloke? Oh, uh, I just got walking here in a dark room. Oh, a push against something. Oh, glass broke. Someone died. Wow. Now that scared me if I ever go in the dark room ever again now. Wow. That guy got some bad luck, hasn't he? I have 10 seconds to solve this mystery. I don't know. Someone just died. Okay, let me do the joke. Not the joke. <laughs> I'm going to say, let's do the joke again. I mean, let's do the riddle again. <laughs> Because someone dying is not a joke. Okay, let's try a go again. Mr. Green. Someone entered a dark room. Okay. They brushed against something. Some glass broke and someone died. What happened? You have 10 seconds to solve this mystery. I don't know. Okay, I'll go pause it because that's why I am. So glass broke. So you brush against something. 
and glass broke so that has to be glass right and so one was on the floor and you know glass killed them or he brushed against the someone and a picture frame fell on someone i don't know how could well, i don't know you guys don't know don't tell me you don't know you don't know i don't know you don't know exactly an aquarium with a goldfish got smashed Fuck. oh my god so basically i thought it was a human who died oh my god it's a fish obviously it's a fish that's just okay i've got to do one more okay i've got to do one more wealthy man lived alone yes. in a small cottage okay he was disabled so okay. he had everything delivered to him. Okay. The mailman brought a letter on Thursday and noticed that the front door was ajar. Through the opening, he could see the man's body lying in a pool of dried blood. On the porch, there were two bottles of milk, Monday's newspaper, okay. a catalog, some flyers, and a mail. say when he died. Mail. When Sherlock Holmes got to the cottage, Sherlock. he told the police the killer was the mailman. How did he know? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. I don't. I have any time in the world to figure it out. So, the detective, Sherlock Holmes, right, is like, ah, you know, the man man did it. Why? I don't know. So, two bottles of milk, okay. Not the milk man, then. Monday's new paper. Okay. Catalog, flyers, but... Yeah, but how did the main ma male man done it? I don't know. The male man done it because, you know, man is sick of delivering his mail all the time. Um, and did the male man put the flies in the catalogue and then think, therefore, like, you know, spam say, oh, no, I'll just deliver mail. I, d I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know. Let's just find out. I don't know. Let's find out. Tuesday and Wednesday's newspapers were missing from the porch. The mailman knew the man didn't need them since he was dead. Wait, hold on. The mailman brought a letter on Thursday oh, and Thursday. noticed that the front door was ajar. Through the opening, he could see the man's body lying in a pool of dried blood. On the porch, there were two bottles it. of milk. Monday's it. newspaper, a catalog, some flyers, and unopened mail. When Sherlock Holmes, I get it now, because I didn't. I forgot when the person entered. It was a Thursday, so that makes sense now. See, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's just the simple things. I don't know. I didn't hear the. I didn't listen to the Thursday bit properly. That what I did. I didn't listen to the Thursday properly, so I um basically didn't listen <laughs> to the question properly but hey ho i try my best um let me know how well you done and don't lie don't say oh i knew this i knew this but trust me trust me be honest but um yeah see i'm not very good at riddles they're just you're thinking outside the box and like some riddles are just so simple it's like oh like you try and think outside like Oh, it can't be that simple, but some of them are. It's just ridiculous. I have got a couple right, but they're probably the most simple answers ever. But hey-ho. Um, let me know if you want me to do this again. Um, harder ones, so you can see the real struggle. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. Um, and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, hit thumbs up if you enjoy it. And also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Don't do it. I think you have. And also subscribe to my second channel. I make vlogs on there not day vlogs i keep saying that but i don't anymore but i make vlogs on there so go check it out and i put all links down below for everything so yeah go check it out down below and all i say is riddles i hate you that's it and bye bye guys